Right, welcome to this update episode for the channel. There's quite a few things to go through here. Uh, first of all, I think the biggest thing to announce is over on Living History 82. It's the other channel that I'm running, uh, mainly for historical uh, reenactment stuff. We've just come back from the Military Odyssey 2014 and uh, spent the whole day filming there. And I think it's been one of the best uh, days that we've had at that event. It's huge. Tens of thousands of people go there. Hundreds and hundreds, perhaps thousands of reenactors take part from all different time periods, all the way up from ancient uh, Romans, uh, going even further back than that, and all the way up to modern warfare. And you, you see the encampments and then the battles that take place. And what I did this year, um, just like last year, I filmed the battles and uh, you can see all the tactics and things going on. But also I uh, thought it would be a good idea to go around the camps and uh, talk to different reenactors and actually interview them and that's what I did this year uh, we've got some amazing interviews uh, there from a whole wide variety of reenactors and when you talk to these people they're real experts um, so there's a lot to learn I know that uh, you've subscribed to Striking Scorpion 82 for Warhammer 40,000 but I know that a lot of you out there have an historical interest as well so uh, it's well worth subscribing to that channel uh, if you what you're seeing on the screen at the moment is uh, shots from uh, the military odyssey. Uh, people that take part, they really uh, are enthusiasts for that time. So they really are an encyclopedia of knowledge and it's fascinating talking to them. A lot of the interviews this year are absolutely superb. I was very excited to announce those. Now, I haven't uploaded the videos yet. Uh, so what I encourage you to do is subscribe and then keep a look out for these videos as they arrive. I'm just going to gradually trickle them in. Uh, they're well worth watching. So uh, I interviewed a, a whole spread this time uh, in ancient Britain. We talked to us a few of them there. They all dressed up in the authentic gear. looked really, really good. And then just after a big reenactment, um, it was a group of Saxons trying to break into a Viking stronghold. And I interviewed one of the Vikings just after that. And he went through his gear. Uh, Napoleonic soldier as well. Uh, paratroopers from World War II. Uh, a British paratrooper. And then also a German as well. Uh, a reenactor from the Zulu Wars. A British soldier from that. And then also a really interesting one. Um, was some guys that were representing modern warfare. Um, so it was a US Marine and then uh, US infantry as well and they went through their gear and it's absolutely fascinating all the technology and stuff that they use uh, and all the body armor uh, a lot more sophisticated than I thought and uh, absolutely fascinating stuff so captured all that on film really look forward to editing those and getting those out there and uh, as I said before I encourage you to subscribe and uh, keep a look out for those videos as they come along there's a lot you can learn from history and uh, especially for 40k which uh, a lot of it is inspired by real historical stuff. Anyway, uh, there's another thing as well. I interviewed someone famous. Uh, it's so tempting to tell you who it is. Uh, but they've uh, appeared on a famous television series that's been shown all over the world. Uh, and I asked if I could interview them and he said yes. So that will be released on the channel as well. So that's that. Uh, you can get to the channel by just typing in on YouTube, Living History 82, if you want to do it that way, or uh, you can just go to the Striking Scorpion 82 homepage, the channel homepage, and then there's a tab there on the top right hand side that will take you straight to that channel. But as I said, subscribe to it and then keep a lookout for the videos as they're released. Uh, there's quite a few to upload, so they'll be uh, gradually coming out over the next few weeks. Um, and then uh, enjoy watching them. Uh, I think they're great, really enjoyed doing the interviews and uh, that's a good channel as well. Yeah, other announcements for the channel. Uh, a lot of you a lot of you have been asking about the painting tutorials. Just released the one uh, for the burning vehicle markers. Uh, a lot of good feedback on that one, so I'm glad you enjoyed that. Uh, so the next one is to come out. I'm, the one lined up at the moment is Imperial Fist, so I'm going to be working on that very soon. Uh, so I'll show you a full tutorial uh, for the Imperial Fists. Uh, it's a colour scheme that I'm really enjoying using at the moment, very effective as well. And then 
Uh, after that, I've got two others that I want to do. Um, I've got the figures lined up for them here on the desk. Uh, we're going to do a painting tutorial for the Tyranids and then one for the Imperial Guard as well. And that's the color scheme that you see in the battle reports, that uh, black and light gray scheme. And I'm going to be showing you how that works. And those two tutorials, uh, Tyranids and Imperial Guard, uh, they're probably the two fastest color schemes and painting techniques that I have uh, for all the armies. So uh, keep a look out for those. And then just with the dark elder, you've seen the uh, the hammering that I took from the uh, Grey Knights. So dark elder are sort of shelved at the moment. Um, I'm still doing them. I'm still painting stuff for them at the moment. Um, but I'm going to keep a look out for the new codex. And uh, I still believe that that's a force with plenty of potential. And the changes I'm making at the moment I think should be good. And then I might have to make a few more readjustments when this new codex arrives. Uh, another thing. Um, someone suggested on the channel uh, after that uh, escalation game that we played, Tau versus Imperial Guard, which is one of the best battle reports uh, that we've done. Uh, fantastic game, and uh, the hero of the game was the new Tau commander. And then uh, one of the subscribers said, "Well, why don't you give him a name?" So I'm not going to name him. I've trying to, been trying to think of names, but just a little competition for everyone. Uh, if you can think of a name for that Tau commander, it's got to be a good one. Uh, but, uh, make your submissions uh, in the comment section of this video. Uh, so name that Tau Commander and then I'll choose the one that I like the most and then uh, we'll use that in future games. He is a hero but it's a hero with no name at the moment so uh, put your submissions in and then uh, you'll keep a look out. For that. So uh, just the other thing, the Imperial Fists are coming along very well. And I'm simultaneously I'm painting them alongside orcs. I'm doing two armies at once, so it's going to take a little bit longer. Uh, but the good news is that both forces are approaching a thousand points each. So, and I've enjoyed painting both sides just as much. Uh, I've enjoyed it because I'm able to paint unit of imperial fists, and then I can paint orcs, and it varies it up, makes it nice. And, and two armies are gradually growing. Um, and what I'm thinking of doing with these two forces is uh, is playing. Uh, smaller point games. Uh, James and I had a run through. We played a couple of games, Orcs versus Imperial Fists, just to see how they played. And uh, we thought, well, 500 point game, it's going to be boring. Um, but in fact, we had a great time. The game was quick. We really enjoyed it. You you focus right on. Just it's a handful of units, but you you know every figure counts, and uh, it's a lot more. Well, it's very interesting so we enjoyed doing that and just to let you know the orcs won both of the games we swapped sides so i was orcs once and then james was orcs the other time but um the orcs won both games uh, and actually it was a slaughter they slaughtered the imperial fist so that's interesting um i think this orc force will be uh, an interesting force to use so that's the uh that's the update for them very encouraging and I'll keep you posted with those. Uh, keep a look out for small games of Orcs and Imperial Fist, and then we're gradually going to build it up to 1850 points and beyond, perhaps, especially for the Orcs. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. I've got some big plans for those, so we'll see what happens. But that's the update video. Uh, plenty going on. Big announcement there um, for the Living History 82 channel encourage you to subscribe to that you can already see some of the videos up there uh, one of the most popular ones uh, has been an interview with a Roman legionary soldier he runs through all of his gear and a uh, fascinating video if you want to see the kind of uh, videos to expect then check out that video the interview of a Roman legionary soldier and then you'll see the kind of um, content that that channel so that's the update video uh, thanks for tuning in and keep a lookout for future videos coming up. Some nice uh, painting tutorials on the way. Uh, some new races on the way. And uh, and as mentioned before, switch over to Living History 82 and check out those new videos uh, coming out soon as well. So thanks for watching and tune in next time.